what do you call this by the way infinity divided by 21 million is it is it just does it have a name yeah, infinity the divided ratio. by 21 million, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I, call, I tweeted equation. this the other... Well, maybe you yeah. can adopt this thing then. The meta ratio. I tweeted this the, the other day and, and put your, your equation in there. I was saying that Bitcoin is the only money in history that guarantees its holder a fixed ratio of the total supply. Yeah. And it is for that precise reason that it is becoming an increasing ratio of the total purchasing power worldwide. Exactly. It's the, the only inviolable ratio um, or fraction of a money supply that could be held by anyone in the world. It's the only guarantee you have. And meta, that's why it increases purchasing power. Hmm. The and I'll so, have to think about that one, Rob. Yeah, uh, I, whatever. Ratio. It's a, Maybe it's a I freebie. like the word ratio. <laughs> I don't know if meta is the right thing, but it's just kind of a compounding effect. Or, I don't know. Anyways, something to meta, think about. Meta sounds a bit too disconnected from reality for my taste. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> Bitcoin is... Uh, but uh, but I, 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 I get what you mean. By the way, the, the number zero on Bitcoin is one of my favorite Bitcoin articles of all time. I, I, I really like even I, I like uh, masters and slaves of uh, of, mo of money a lot too. But the uh, Bitcoin and the number zero is so this this is like so close to what I'm thinking about, and uh, I'm so glad you put it into words. Uh, and that that connects with this. This is why I tweeted that before that like Bitcoin is the number zero, but uh, but it also it's also infinity divided by twenty one million. So uh, it's it it is what connects right. the the infinite to the finite, and and uh, it that's why it blows my mind. Period. <laughs> that's funny. We I've been uh, communicating with Gigi a bit, and you know he's very deep in the philosophical side. We're talking yeah, about the union of opposites, actually, where. Bitcoin is this unity of opposites in so many ways. And it sounds like this is another one where it it is the number zero. You know, it's kind of like the zero point of money. Um, but it also is this infinity <laughs> divided by 21 million. So it's another, you know, zero and twin zero and infinity are twins effectively. And it sounds like Bitcoin is both. Exactly. Um, I, I and love that gets back into the, the crazy alchemy thing was said that the philosopher's stone would be the unifier of opposites. And that would be the thing that would be incorruptible and save the world from, from the tyranny in the world. So it's just mind bending, honestly. Yeah, uh, I loved your chat with, with Gigi, by the way, on uh, Svetsky's pod. Uh, some real insights there. And, and Gigi is such a, such a great thinker too. Uh, uh, Looking, looking forward to his to his next book. He's trying to frame Bitcoin in twenty one different ways. I think uh, something like that, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to that. I liked a lot of the metaphors. Like, well, Bitcoin is uh, like trying to find a Bitcoin is akin to uh, to approaching the speed of light. I really like that metaphor. Uh, and like this connection between time and space that we haven't had before, uh, it's its really intriguing because uh, like all the other monies are good for uh, for uh, spreading value across space, but not through time. And Bitcoin is the first one that is actually super, super precise good at uh, storing it over time. Uh, I mean, we never had a better tool for storing value over time if it continues to work as it does. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, Combining that with the ability to send it through space in relatively short times, like wait for three confirmation. I mean, that takes a while, but uh, in the grand scheme of thing, uh, scheme of things, no, it's uh, the the time uh, the time dimension is so much more important there. Mm. Yeah, it's you have to compare that settlement across space with gold. Right, so it's how how much time and or energy does it take you to send gold around the world? Yeah, uh, 
compared to how much time and energy does it take you to send Bitcoin? Because it, it's not adequate to compare it with Visa or PayPal or any of that because that's not final settlement, right? You still have counterparty risk no matter what. And I do think, I, you know, I wrote a lot about the relationship between time and money. And that's where I focused a lot of my, my analogy, I guess. But actually in doing the series with Sailor, he has this totally, he looked at it from an energy perspective almost entirely. And he actually, that was his actual answer to the question, what is money? He said, money is the highest form of energy humans can channel, basically. And I found it's so interesting that I think about it a lot that time and energy are almost interchangeable in this sense. And that um, we could say they're both, it's all connected to work, right? The, the capacity to do work over time, it requires energy or it requires time to do that. And it is work that's actually improving our productivity, right? Which actually helps us overcome the scarcity of time, if you will. So, and that was the, the relationship to money. That was actually how I engaged Elon originally was that, um, I think I said, <laughs> here's a lesson for Elon. Um, money is simply a tool for moving value across time and space. Gold is great for moving value across time, but not space. Fiat currency is great for moving value across space, but not time. Bitcoin's the only money in history optimized for moving value across space time. And that's yeah. what I, I think sparked his interest a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's what it is. And then if you look, if you dive into the Sailor series, it'll blow your mind. Like it really, it changed my worldview and that that is the overarching purpose of humanity, of life really, is to move energy across time and space. Um, but humans are different in that we can, we can use symbols and information to uh, engage in cooperative effort at a scale not possible by any other animal. So we can channel energy across space and time more intelligently and with more purpose than any other creature. And that's why we dominate the world. Um, so it's just, you know, and money is, is quintessential to all of that. So super interesting way to think about it. Yeah, to that point, I, uh, I look at it as a linguistic tool because Bitcoin is just a language. Gold uh, is, is not linguistic in the same sense since it's, mm -hmm. it's physical. And, uh, uh, and this is, uh, I, I, I'm kind of tired of the gold analogy because I think Bitcoin is so much better than gold. So it, while it is still the best analogy we have, it's it's sort of it's sort of insulting to Bitcoin because it's so much more than gold, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I would say that money is the tool that lets us switch between energy states inst uh, instantly between energy states. I like Bitcoin is is really um, first first of all it converts electricity to to monetary energy or whatever you call that type of energy. You, ca you can't really frame that because money itself uh, has no use value other than to uh, turn it into another state of energy, so to speak. And uh, so, so, so I view Bitcoin as a linguistic tool to, to switch between energy states instantly and to and first and foremost to store that energy uh, over time. And uh, as as technology and humanity flourishes more and more, and we move forward, that stored energy, since it's a part of a greater whole, that part will always go up in purchasing power over time, because it uh, the the infinite number gets closer and closer to real infinity, and not just bounded by the physical boundaries of the earth. Uh, so so. Yeah, it's deep stuff, but it's uh, it's it's hard to come to other conclusions than uh, than this when 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 really thinking deep and hard about Bitcoin. Yeah, I think another way to maybe frame it is that money is a claim on the creative energies of man. Yeah. We, we we often talk about oh, there's not enough energy, or we're wasting energy, or whatever. But in truth, I mean, we're completely engulfed in energy. The whole universe is made of energy. It's just how much can we harness 
and allocate towards our aims, towards satisfying wants. Yeah, everything um, is energy. Like mass and energy are interconnected. So yeah, everything yeah, mass is frozen energy, exactly. And so yeah. this whole thing, like that, that we now have a loss minimized, con um, you could call it a super conductive monetary network in a way that we yep. can actually move this claim on creative energy across time and space with least loss. Whereas historically yep. gold, very expensive to move around the world. It's inflating at 2% per year, expensive to secure, uh, fiat currency, um, you know, cheap to move around the world. If you can get the sign off from the right gatekeepers, uh, loses a lot of value over time, can be totally deauthorized. You know, it's pure counterparty risk in a sense. Um, and Sailor, again, in the, the series, brilliantly explained this. He goes, you can get kind of confused looking at monies in a short-term framework about which one is better, but if you just zoom out to 100 years, it becomes very obvious what can what can operate as money um, over that time scale. And... Um, yeah, you know, it's crazy how much of a leap we have, to your point, in, in moving to Bitcoin over gold. And all we had was this dumb rock. And yeah. now we've just, we've figured out this digital, you know, the thing that uh, a digital competitor that's taken all of the properties that made gold gold, perfected them, and then put them online. Um, yeah. It's truly just mind, mind boggling. And then, you know, as... As goods, and the other way to think about the, the infinity divided by 21 million is as those creative energies of man get better and better, as we get smarter, and our treasury of knowledge becomes more enriched, we're creating more and more goods and services. But now that's all being measured against uh, a supply of money that doesn't change. So that, that supply of money lays claim to the entire savings of humanity. That's what money is by definition. Yeah. Um, that's why it is infinity. It's not just, it's not just uh, some silly, you know, meme. Yeah. It actually, if you look at it in that respect, it's everything we're ever going to create forever. This money so, will lead yeah. to its amortized value at some point. The the phrase from the article is not only everything divided by twenty one million that that spurred the whole meme thing. The 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 the, the, the sentence is everything there ever will be. Uh, uh, everything there is and everything that ever will be divided by 21 million. So it's Reminds not me of that pro wrestler, uh, Bret Hart said, I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. There ever will be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> to, to your point about gold, gold is a shift coin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, what, so that's the correct turn. A, a, a shift coin. A shift coin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's we, uh, don't mean that. <laughs> I mean, gold was gold was good, right? Because it didn't tarnish. I mean, that that was why it was good at transporting value across time. But obviously, there we we all know the limitations of gold that it was able to be co opted and and uh, you know debased and uh, basically controlled. Uh, and eventually, you know that money centralized money controlled money, as Rob discusses in depth in his piece, Masters and Slaves of Money is a form of enslavement. This holiday season, give the gift of Bitcoin to your loved ones. Swan delivers your Bitcoin gift along with our world-class education and client service. Create a Bitcoin gift and wrap it with a custom message for your family and friends. Dash away with your gift. Your recipient will receive an email right away that easy. Give the gift of generational wealth. Give Bitcoin. 